I'm going to demonstrate palpation of the deltoid muscle. Uh, the deltoid muscle is quite a large muscle that covers the shoulder and due to the orientation of the fibers we often break it down into three parts the anterior deltoid, the middle deltoid, and the posterior deltoid. The anterior deltoid attaches to the lateral third of the clavicle and continues distally to insert into the deltoid tuberosity. The middle th uh, deltoid attaches to the acromion uh, of the scapula and descends distally to insert into the deltoid tuberosity. And then the posterior deltoid inserts along the spine of the scapula and wraps around to insert into the deltoid tuberosity. So what we're going to do is we'll demonstrate palpation of the anterior deltoid first. So you're going to locate the clavicle, move laterally to the acromion and to the acromial end of the scapula, and then you're going to descend distally about two inches, and this is going to be overlying the major portion of the deltoid, and one of the actions the deltoid, the anterior deltoid does is shoulder flexion, so that's what we're going to demonstrate, and just apply a light little resistance to palpate the anterior deltoid. From there, we're going to do the middle deltoid. So you're going to locate the acromion of the scapula, move laterally and then distally about two inches, and we're going to have uh, the patient do abduction, and you're going to apply light resistance there to palpate the middle deltoid. And then lastly, the posterior deltoid, which attaches to the spine of the scapula, we're going to locate the uh, chromial end of the scapula again, and move posteriorly and then distally about two inches. It's going to come on this angle over here, and one of its actions is extension at the shoulder. So we're going to have that individual do extension and apply a little resistance to palpate the posterior deltoid.